No matter the season, no matter the weather, our next guest keeps us safe. The holidays are no different. Dick Freeburn of Freeburn Hamilton is back to make us aware of some of the dangerous toys that are on the market this holiday season. Well, bah humbug to you, too, Dick. Yes, you're <laughs> right. And talking about toys, they're for little ones, right? Yes. Well, it's Clara's birthday. Yes, I know. Three, three years, years old. old. Three years old. So and this will be a belated happy birthday to Clara. But so not with any of these toys, right? Not with any and of these any. toys, So what's no. so dangerous about some of the toys? Well, let's keep in mind that just because a toy is on the shelf, you shouldn't assume that it's already been approved as safe. You would think it would be. You would think it would be, and there are some federal guidelines Underwriters Laboratory, for example, has just started looking at toys okay. and approving them, so that's something to look for. But let's take a look at some of the obvious ones and use, you know, that you have to use some yeah. common sense. The slash claw, like the Wolverine. It just sounds terrible. This is for uh, five plus children, oh, I don't know about but that. even at that age, I mean, what could go wrong <laughs> with that, uh, you know? I know, obviously it's, it's you know, faux blades, but yeah, I mean, well, you're kind of encouraging violence but too. It's well, but with uh, some, if if you were to strike somebody yeah. hard with something yeah. like that, it could you cause real damage. Yeah, and it could cause injury to eyes and things like that. So that's this is an obvious no-no. Yeah, you know yeah. that would be one. I would hope most parents would look at that and say, mm, you know, we we have to have more common sense than that. Okay. Okay. But this one, look, it's cute. No? It's very, very cute. It has lights. It's a stuffed animal. It has lights. It's a stuffed animal. It's supposed to, it says it's not for crib use. But here's a picture of a little child with the animal yeah. essentially in the crib with her. Okay? And uh, this is an item that should not go in the crib, but it's so cute and it lights up. Mm -hmm. You open it up and there are batteries. And there's a warning on the label that says, beware of leaking battery acid. And no child uh, up to a certain age should have anything in the crib, as I understand. Absolutely. And this would be, you know, the child would be crying for this to is go Is it in the that crib. this specific, it does it ha have a battery leaking issue or just in general? In general. In general, okay. In general. There is a warning on the label about, uh, about leaking batteries and to be careful of that. Okay. So. I would absolutely buy this. For Tommy, <laughs> so what's the problem? Because <laughs> um, this is cute. Well, I will tell you what they say is the problem, and that is this item here, and that's this the stick. It, the this stick, yeah. I mean, and it is, it, it is fairly sharp and pointed. So that's something again to just keep in mind. It is a choking hazard of, to a certain extent, and it can go in the eye. So okay. you know, you just have to be careful of those sorts of things. Let's quickly keep going. Yes. Um, Stomp Rocket. I remember my nephews had something similar to this when they were littler. Yeah. You like step on and it goes flying in the air. Yeah. Well, it, it says it can go 100 feet in the air. That's impressive. That's uh, cool. That's pretty cool. cool. And the warning says don't aim it at, uh, at your friends or other children. Okay, fair enough. But you're, you're selling this to, uh, to parents who are going to give it to the children and what are the children going to do? They're not going to read the label and they're not going to follow the instructions necessarily. Yeah. Well, yeah. And before too long, they're going to be, you know, aiming at it each other and so forth. But I, I, ha I do have to admit the, um, the uh, rockets are fairly soft, you know. And um, we're already really running out of time, but here we have a piece of faux fruit and a faux knife. So are you yeah, so this, is, this is dangerous? Yeah, this is, this is a, I think, you know, we can all agree, this is a very sharp, uh, not sharp, not it's sharp, hard, hard, hard sure. knife. It's it's very hard. And I think that's primarily it is just that it's a very hard plastic knife. Who who comes up with these? Who, whose list is this? This is a, an organization whose acronym is WATCH, World Against Toys Causing Harm. Okay. Okay, but there are certain other organizations that look at these things as I was saying underwriter laboratories have just has just started uh, reviewing toys so if you look for the UL mm -hmm. on the uh, on the box that would be an important indicator there are certain f federal guidelines as well okay but they're fairly loose okay fair enough parents you make the decision yourself thanks Dick happy holidays to you happy holidays and happy birthday to Clara thank you we'll be right back